Look over here. Hello. Hi. And shout out to Zeta Epson Hall currently at RuPaul's Dark Fire. And shout out to Ivana Drake. Period. And shout out to Lawrence Cheney, uh, who is also in Drag Race Live currently, which we love to see. But hello, Dave Vaz, and welcome to The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. And welcome to... Look over here. Our exclusive companion series, where we are diving into the looks from episode four of Drag Race UK series six. I'm Logan Murphy, say something gay. Gay, and I'm drinking the exact same bottle of water I was in the recap. And if you've not checked out our episode recap for the Ghoul Group Challenge, definitely go make sure and do that as well. Absolutely. And hello, hello, everyone. I am Lana, your resident evil ghoulish diva. And I'm here to give the tea, tea and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea. Purr. Purr. <laughs> I am just still drinking on the, the same exact water from the recap episode. And if you haven't checked out the recap episode, you should do that. <laughs> and if you haven't checked out the merch links, it's apparently we're doing each other's stuff today. <laughs> Go check out our merch at lotofgcreations.etsy.com. Link is in the description below. And we do ship domestically within the United States and internationally. So there are no excuses. Unless your country is currently on fire, uh, under fire, or underwater, then there are some excuses. Um, and yes, <laughs> our thoughts and prayers are with you. And we hope yes, that God. everything works out and everybody is safe. And once you are safe and back to a sense of normalcy, go get your cup birch. Celebrate that way. Yeah. And our thoughts and our prayers also go out to Liam. Page and his family and friends and fans of One Direction. We know yep. how hard this could be for you and this mm -hmm. tragedy. But we are sending our prayers and our love to each and every one of you. Yes, God. And we're going to dive into some um, earthly looks today from this episode. But before we do, make sure to subscribe if you're not already, because we're here almost all the time giving you almost all things drag. And make sure to check out the description below where you can find all of our audio podcast links, our other YouTube channels, our Patreon, and our Patreon for exclusive content and early access, including early access to the Look Over Here episode, most of the Look Over Here episodes for the franchises we are currently covering. So, boom. Category yeah. is <gasps> Call Ooh. Me Mother Earth. Earth. Ooh, very cute. Very green. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I have a lot of uh, earth, like green uh, backgrounds saved on. Shout out to Canva. Um, from when I worked in a environmental nonprofit for two and a half years, so I have. <laughs> I'm like, I had all these saved, and I was like, oops, snatch. Well, use Got this it. right now. Period. Love it. Literally. Um. First up, Lavoie. Okay. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Uh huh. Le Lavoie? How dare you? How dare you? How, how dare you start the runway off looking this fabulous? Right. Then, I was like, did I just see my very favorite look of the night already? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. This runway look was. Fantastical, like fantastic. Yeah. I loved everything about this look from her hair to the makeup on her face to the dress and how this orange lava went all the way down and had the black. It was phenomenal. This was my favorite look of the night right off the bat. And I could not take my eyes off of her. I thought she was incredible. I just I loved this. I loved how she performed it. I loved how she walked that runway in it. It was just so good. Laval was so good. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Lavois is giving fashion this season. And I really, like, and I appreciate her a lot, but I wasn't expecting her to give 
as much as she is giving on this season. And I love this look. This was also my favorite look of the night. And what I love the most, and we talked about it last week too, and I'm happy that we're saying it again. She is doing so many cool, fun, interesting things with her makeup. Yep. And I'm really happy to see this kind of like experimental side of Lavoie when it comes to makeup and like conveying herself. This wig could not be more perfect for the occasion. This dress is stunning. It somehow still gives her shape, even though she's a fucking volcano. Right. Uh. I'm living for this. Living for this. How do you have shape as a fucking volcano? It's so good. It's so good. Uh. Yeah. She ate this damn mug. There. All the accolades, all the praise, all all the props. Boom. Lavoie ate this down. This is a full, 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 full Titanic under the sea, sitting next to Peach's Titanic and and all the other full cups. This This has joined the rankings of Mug Dirt. Don't be surprised if this is my favorite at the end of the year. Don't be surprised. Period. Work, Lavoie. And see, I'm mad she wasn't in the top because this look was so good. Oh, this look deserved talk. This look deserved I agree. feedback. This look yep. deserved. Oh, I agree. So good. I agree. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have Kiki Snatch. I like this look on Kiki. Here's the I thing. Too. I love, because this is what I thought she would do something like this because Kiki is not one of those queens that has these big look. like she's not going to come out in a volcano that's not her thing she's it would have been so sickening if she did I'm not even going to lie to you did. but no she that's not that's not mm-hmm. her drag aesthetic that's not who she is and I get it and this is what I expected and I liked it I love the flowers I, I do agree with Rue I would love that wig the hair to be much bigger. Yes. I wanted it to be like Mother Earth big. Like, yes. Huge. But I, what I did like about this, I love that she put the pick in there. I yes. love that she put the hair pick in there. I was like... The pick was my favorite detail of this entire look. I was like, period, sister. Period, mm-hmm. my sister. Yeah. Mm. Loved yeah. it. But I thought this was a good look for her. Is it super over the top and flamboyant? No, it's not. But it's Kiki. And I get it. And I understand it. She is Mother Earth. She is Mother Nature. And I loved it. Yeah. I liked it. Could it have been more? Sure. But I yeah. liked it for her. Yeah, I thought Kiki did a phenomenal job on the runway this week. And that's why I was so happy also that she was in the top. I did get a little bit worried that the judges weren't going to positively respond to this look. And I'm very, very happy that I was proven wrong. I think Kiki looks absolutely incredible. I do wish that the hair was even bigger because of how small the outfit is. And I'm not saying that as a negative thing. I'm just saying it as a fact. Because the the dress and the garment is a little bit smaller, I would have loved to balance that with just this absolutely massive afro. I think that would have, like, it would have been so fun. It would have been so different to see for Kiki. But overall... I am so happy that she is very clearly taking in the judges' critiques and being in the bottom last week has really, really lit a fire under her ass and she is serving on the runway. If I had one critique about the garment itself, I wish the flowers continued into the train. Um, I think there were some, but I wish there was a bit more of like a cascading flower effect. And so so it looked like there were just flowers flowing behind her. But yeah. overall, I think Kiki did a great job. Yeah, I agree with that. I think having a flower, like the whole cake just be flowers, just full of flowers. It would have been so good. Or yeah. even like a full, like make it a, as opposed to a train, like honestly, make it a full cake, like you're saying, and just mm-hmm. have this like regality to it, like black mm-hmm. Mother Earth. Like I think that would have been really fun Ooh. too. Ooh. Yes, so good. Scores. I give this an 80. 81. Work. 
Charity as a spider. <laughs> now, how much do you want to guess? How much do you want to bet that she saw what the challenge was, saw what the runway was, and said, I brought a spider look. I'll just right. use this instead. And honestly, smart girl. I feel like it works because spiders are part of nature as much as, you know, it is. Yep. So I like this look on Charity. It's very different from what Char usually brings. And she's been doing different since she's been in this room, since she's been in the show, honestly. And I love that for her. She is showing yep. us range because we thought yep. coming into this season, she was going to be all pop colors and you know just you know we've not seen primary a primary color. color on her since week two since, see week two and i love that for her she is showing us she is not just what we think she is she could do so much more and i love yeah. that for charity i am a fan of charity i think she is doing really well in this competition and i think she is somebody who i feel like could make it if they don't put her in the finale, she makes it to five, six or five. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Because she's, yeah. she's very consistently good, but she's always been safe. And we need that moment where Charity is either right at the top so they can give her the praise and the accolades that she needs, or she's at the bottom where she can get that fire lit under her butt so she won't be just safe. Uh -huh. And I, I would think love that week for her. I think next week could be a moment for her, and I think Snatch Game could be a moment for her. I would love that for her. I think she's so I would good, too. and she's consistently good in this runway. So I, I thought this was really, really good. It's simple, but it has its elements of ooh, you know what I mean. It's a simple black dress, but the elements that she put on top of it, ooh, and her yeah. makeup, so good. Uh, this hair, so good. I, uh -huh. I love this. I love this. I was going to say, the makeup and the hair is what absolutely sells this look for me. Um, because the look is more on the simple side. And I'm not mad at that, necessarily. I wish there was something going on in the skirt. Like, a little bit more detail work, maybe. Maybe, like, a spider's web over the Puswacha area. But, like, overall, I'm not mad at this at all. This wig, I don't love a glitter sculpted wig, but I do love this glitter sculpted wig. Um, just the shape that she was able to create with this is so good. All of these fangs coming up on her. I think Char looks wonderful. Scores. I'm giving Chara a 93. Oh, wow. Um, oh, okay. I'm giving her an 83. I really, like it. I really, really like this. I think she looks yeah. fabulous. Yeah. 83, but a strong 83, nonetheless. Next up, Lil. As a sneaky snake, sneaky snake. A sneaky, sneaky snake. I think Liv looks so pretty in this. Like, yes. she looks so, this headpiece is giving me so much She looks much so life. pretty with a snake's head on a her head. A snake's head on her head with the fangs coming down. But she This hair so hat, pretty. snake hat. I love it. I love it. I want the snake hat, hair hat. Like, I will rock that snake hat, hair hat. It's period. Good. Period. It's just so good. I like it. I think I like the dress. And I love the snake skin on the dress. Is it a little some parts where it's a little fitting weirdly? Yeah, I think so. But I don't mind it as much. I think she yeah. looks gorgeous. I like how she softened her makeup for this. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. I think Lil looked gorgeous on this runway. It was some parts that had a little flaws, little things that I could see that mm -hmm. I was not too happy about, but oh, oh, not enough to make me dislike this look. I think Lil looked amazing on this runway. Yeah, the first thing I noticed is um, her the softening of her makeup, and I'm I'm happy to see some versatility. Um, yeah, I think this look is really, really strong and solid. I agree about the fit issues, but what I love most about this is the full accessorization of the look. I love what she's I love that she's got these cuffs on the arms, this kind of cuff on the neck, the snake hat hair hat, I think is really good. The hair coming down too gives gives this like wonderful illusion. I love that she went with this snakeskin concept. 
Um, unfortunately, I think the reality is probably that this dress looks a lot better in person than it does on TV. That's just, that's the only critique I can really give this is uh, it it does unfortunately wash her out just a touch, but I think a lot of it has to do with TV lighting. Um, but I, I still think she looks great. Scores. I gave her a 78. I gave her an 80. I was going back and forth between 80 and 78. I was yeah. like, uh, almost 78. Fair. Really, Sally, Sally, I love this look on Relisa. Absolutely love this look on Relisa. And I love that she didn't try to do nude illusion. She just did the brown underneath yes. that panel. And it just was the, a brown that... It looks close enough. It looks like it matches her skin. So she, it just yeah. fits and it goes well. Because if she would have tried to do a nude illusion and it wasn't the right color, we'd be dogging it. But Relisa looks so stunning. I like the waves on this dress. I love the angular movements of this dress. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, it's so pretty. And she looks stunning. This blue wig, oh, yep, that's the next color. Oh, that's the next wig I want. You know I would oh, rock period. a blue wig. You look great oh. in this. Oh, I would rock yes. a blue wig. I would love it. This looks so good. This color is everything to me. It's everything to me. I think she mothered this. Not go lie. She mothered this too, and it looks good. No notes, Relisa. Lisa Lisa. And I did like the uh Lisa Lisa Coat Jam uh reference that RuPaul got. Some of y'all wouldn't mm -hmm. get it, but uh, you look beautiful. Oh, I do. I'm about to say some people don't know Lisa Lisa and Coat Jam, but you if you don't know Lisa Lisa and Coat if Jam. If you're an OG drag race fan, you'll know they did head to toe as a lip sync song on season six. Oh, period. So if you don't know Lisa Lisa, mm -hmm. Lisa yeah. actually from head to toe. Ooh, I think I it's a good lip sync too. It's a good Copyright. Um, yeah, love it. She looks amazing. I, I won't even lie, that was my introduction to Lisa Lisa, but I do love Lisa Lisa. I, un I, I understand. Look, y'all are babies. I get it. You weren't around yes. when Lisa Lisa and Coach I was, was not was popping it because no, it was popping. not even a, Lisa, not Lisa even a Coach chance. Was, yes, they was popping. Yeah. It was one of my favorite groups. Yeah, but per. Yeah, Relisa looks absolutely stunning here. I do love that she was like, this is the most clothes I think I've ever worn. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, it tracks. I think this dress is absolutely gorgeous on her. It is giving Met Gala. She was right on it with that. I love all of this sculpted work going across her body. I think all of this is really good. The one critique I will have is that there are certain angles and there are certain, like when she was walking, I lose a little bit of her shape in the dress. And she has such a gorgeous figure that I didn't want to lose that in the dress. But overall, I do think Relisa looks phenomenal. Scores. I gave Miss Relisa Lisa a 99 because baby, this was everything. Um, I gave her Lisa a 93. Only reason you get a hundred is because that yeah. spot was given to Lavoie. Volcano. <laughs> the volcano of it all. The volcano. Love mm -hmm. volcano. Love volcano. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Next up, we get to do it one more time. Zahira. Zahira. <laughs> what did you think of Zahira? I thought Zahira looked beautiful. I like this look from. The I agree. The waist up, it was yeah. beautiful. This makeup is stunning. She looks pretty. The headpiece, yes, God. Love the flowers. Love the Japanese, the cherry blossoms. Love those. I like it. I agree with the slouchy pay, uh, boot with the the bouquet in the boot. I was like, ah, not a fan of that. But I thought she looked beautiful. I love the simplicity of the white uh, dress. With all these pink and red cherry uh, cherry blossoms, I liked it, and I love the pink wig with this. I thought she looked so 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 pretty, so 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 pretty. I like the look. I really not. Yeah, 
I really wish I could judge this from like bust up because if I was judging bust up, this would be a full cup. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, I I don't think the skirt works with this, and I agree with every single thing RuPaul said. The skirt and the combination of the skirt, the slouch boot, and the flowers in the slouch boot just made it. She looked absolutely tiny with this giant headpiece on. What I would have loved is just do a dress that hits the floor. Like, just, like, almost like simple tube dress kind of gig. It would have been something different for Zahira. I would have loved to see a bit of a different silhouette from her. Um, and I think it, it really would have just highlighted the fact that all of this flower work in the bust and this headpiece is just absolutely stunning. Her makeup is incredible. I love the sentiment of this representing her dad. I think all of that is just really, really cool. Unfortunately, I can't ignore the fact that the skirt and the boots exist. Right. So, scores. I gave her an 88. <sighs> I gave her a 77. Wow. It was too, I it's don't too good. want to. It's too good at the top to do that low for me. It's too good at the top it, for me. I get it. Right. I just, yeah. Yeah. I, but from the bust up, it's a full cup. Mm. Like, that's where I'm at, so. Next up, Octavia. Octavia, unfortunately, has fallen into the trap of doing a same volcano look after Lavoie. And it wasn't as successful. Because this was probably my least favorite look of the night. This For was me. my least favorite look of the night. I didn't like how it sat. I didn't like that we could see the strap in between of the black strap in between uh, on the side. It just, I don't know. This dress didn't do it. For, this look just fell so flat next to everybody who has came, who came out before her and then everybody who came out after her. It was just, this was the, it just didn't fit right. Even standing on the stage with everybody in that line, I was like, this is just standing out like a sore thumb to me as like not. Good. Yeah. So unfortunately, this was my least favorite look of the night, but I still love Octavia. So it's kind of like sucks. <sighs> I really like Octavia. Let me make that very clear. I like Octavia. This was my least favorite look. I, I think even if Lavoie wasn't Lavoie Kano, um, I it just I'm a little bit worried about Octavia's stamina in this competition based solely on the runway. Because I don't other than the Welsh Dragon, I don't think I've really been impressed majorly by anything she's worn on the runway, unfortunately. What I do love about this look the most is this wig and this mug. That top photo is giving me everything I ever would need in my lifetime. It is so good. And even with this one shoulder, I love this like pat this like faux leather. I hope it's faux leather. Um, kind of glove, like slouchy situation. That is so cool to me. The dress is just not my favorite dress, unfortunately. It looks bulky on her. She loses all of her shape by having all of this ruching. And I think the ruching is a great way to convey this kind of fire, ember kind of thing that she's going for. Um, I wish she had had just a little bit of a, more of a cinch in the corset and had the orange and the black ruching start a little bit lower. Um, I think that just would have given her a better silhouette because uh, I'm losing all of her shape and she kind of just looks like a blob in the middle with some like, just some fabric coming off of her. And it's unfortunate because I, I do really like Octavia and I think she's a very strong performer, but the looks are not where I hoped they would be. So, scores. I gave her a 65. It is with a lot of sadness that I give Octavia a 62. Because that hair and that mug and that shoulder, yeah. 
is wonderful, but yeah. Next up, Chanel O'Connor. I didn't like it. Okay. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't my worst, least favorite look. It was okay. It was so simple. It was simple. I like the gold bust area part of mm -hmm. this. I felt like everything else just seemed so lackadaisical, so afterthought. Like she was so focused on the well, gold she bust did, part. She did, she did she say she up. had to make the skirt. Late, and, yeah. So and, and it and it looks like she rushed to make it, and it was just yeah, a piece of fabric. I I'm not a fan of the wig, especially because it was coming up in the okay. back. It was coming up in the back, and we thought, yeah. I'm like, baby, we go do the wigs, glue it down or something. Um, mm -hmm. it just, but I do like her makeup. I did yeah. like the makeup on her. Her face but, card has never declined on this season. Yeah, I do like her makeup, but I'm just not fully sold on this look, but I do like the yeah. gold part of the bust. I think that is such mm -hmm. a really good touch, and I like her yeah. face, but it, that's, that's kind of about it. Yeah. It was a meh week for Chanel for me. Yeah, and I'm going to agree with that. Um, there's a lot about this I do like, and it is mostly this gold um, bust piece here. What I love too is we are getting some versatility from Chanel and she was like, I'm not wearing body. Like this is my actual body. And I really liked that. Um, I think it really added to the look. Obviously it's going to be hard to wear a corset with a, uh, a bust piece that kind of is molded to your body. Um, I think that looks great for the fact that the skirt is a piece of fabric wrapped around her waist that she made the night before. I'm not too upset at it, honestly. Um, love the makeup. I actually really like the hair sans the part where it's coming up in the back. Um, but I, I, overall, I think this is a solid look. We've seen much better from Chanel, but I don't think this is bad. Scores. I gave her a sensible 74. I also gave her a sensible 74. Look at there. We're both on the same page. We're Yay! We didn't. We hadn't had that this whole time. I know. Next up, what well, we did with Lavoie. Uh, well, true, true. Yeah. Next up, marmalade. Marmalade is stunning. Ugh. Just it's stunning. Marmalade ate this up. I. I yes. I, yeah. I. Mmm. Mmm. This is beautiful from head to yeah. toe. This is beautiful from head to toe. toe, from toe, to toe. toe. No notes, marmalade. Yeah, you ate this up. This look alone should have kept her out of the bottom three, and I am still pissed that they put her there. Honestly, um, I love every inch of this. If it wasn't for the fact that Lavoie came out as a fucking Lavoie Kano, this would have been my favorite look of the night. Um, it is, and even, I don't know if you've seen on Marmalade's Twitter, but she's been ranking where the looks are, um, each week as far as, like, her personal favorites, um, because she made everything, so she's, like, mm -hmm. she's ranking her own stuff. Uh, this is her third favorite look that she brought. Oh. So I'm like, oh, God, what the hell are we going to see that's even better than this? Right. Wow. She talked about, um, what was it? Her, um... Her look last week was like her seventh or eighth. Mm. Like I'm like, oh my god, what are we getting from? I'm so excited for Marmalade. It's like I, oh my god. But this butterfly look is so good. I love that it's kind of two tiered almost, mm -hmm. with the wings higher yes. in the back and then lower in the front. Love I love it. that it's just like a simple breast piece. The hair with all of the accessorization is so good. The face is in incredible this eyebrow deep like this almost faux eyebrow no brow situation is gorgeous she looks like a fucking butterfly nymph and i am obsessed with her i'm obsessed Absolutely. with her Absolutely. scores very full cup for it's sure, a full cup a hundred percent sure for sure oh can't no notes <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt. Ugh. 
And last up, Kyron Thrax. And I would be remiss if I didn't point out that I, uh, during our Instagram review for this season, picked a very, very similar look to this on Kyron's Instagram uh, that is utilizing the same headpiece. Oh, you did. Because that flower look is also Midsummer Midsummer uh, reference, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, it's the same headpiece. Mm-hmm. I wish she was wearing that dress underneath this. Me too, because this was disappointing. I was very much like, oh, the headpiece is great. So disappointed. Oh, this flower cape is great. Oh, it got to be some big gown underneath that's going to be so pretty and full of flowers and it's going to be so great. Yep. And you're teasing us and teasing us and teasing us on this runway. It's going to be so great. And then we open it up and it's a cat suit with some flowers stuck on. I have never been blue balls more <laughs> watching a Drag Race runway than I was watching this runway. I was, I don't even have balls, but I was blue balls too. Yeah. I was like, oh, Oh, take me there, take me there, take me there. Oh. Girl, really? You finished before I did. I uh, cat, and I love that RuPaul was like, a cat a suit? Cat like, Ru couldn't even contain her disappointment. And that is how I felt, and I'm sure that's how the audience felt when we saw it. We were like, it looks great. This cape is good. Her makeup is great. I love the different colors in the eyes and how it's fanning out and lightening up. And, and it looks really good. This headpiece is extraordinary. And it's great. And then all you got underneath it is this green cat suit with the flowers stuck on it. Like, what happened to that other look? I don't know. Confused. I was, so bad. I was, I was very confused and let down. Yeah. But, yeah. You know what I would have loved? I would have loved if she had done the reveal and she's like, oh, 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 and it was the same cape underneath. That would, would have been everything. I wouldn't I would have, I wouldn't have needed that. any other look. I wouldn't have needed any other look underneath. Just same coat. No notes would have been for that one. She like that would, would have been one of those moments up. where like the same to same reveal would have worked so beautifully. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Rue I think the coat Rue is... Been, Rue would have been cackling if she did that. <laughs> Rue probably would have canceled the rest of the season and crowned Kyron right there in this look. She would have died. Ugh. Like... Yeah, I I think the coat is gorgeous and the headpiece is gorgeous and the makeup is gorgeous and the reveal is an absolute letdown in every possible way. So, scores. I was mad. I gave her a 72. Because I was mad. I gave her a 78. I was mad. I, it could have been Angry. so much more. It could have been so much more. Like, this could have been if, full cut material. If it had literally been any other look underneath other than a cat suit, I probably would have given this a full. I'm so mad. I'm so mad at that. <laughs> and guess what? We get to end off mad. So, <laughs> thank you for joining for this episode. If you didn't check out our episode recap, go do it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share on the way out. Make sure to check out the description where you can find all of our audio podcast links angrily. Mm -hmm. Our other uh, YouTube channels, our Patreon, our social media, and where you can get your merch angrily. Angrily. Including an unlimited two cup mug. We're going to get out of here because we're still angry. So, cheers in an angry fashion. Clink, clink, clink. angry.